professor at Metropolitan State University. Uh, I'm ending my two-year tenure here, and uh, I'm an, also one of the three jurors of the 528.0 show, the print show at the Center for Visual Arts. Um, I here, have here a collection of works, not only from our collection here at Metropolitan State University of Visiting Artists Program, as well as some prints uh, from my own collection of all artists that are across the nation. But I feel like they, the work encompasses not only representations of different medias within printmaking, but also um, what's going on in the nation, as well as in Denver and the region. So my work is primarily lithography combined with screen print. So um, usually I'll do a, a drawing, which is called a key in black and white, and then I will apply color through screen print on top. So it is combining two processes, um, not only that are very broad and diverse as well within each medium, but also um, encompasses water-based ink and oil-based ink. Uh, and alongside me here are two other prints that are lithographs, and this one is by David Morrison. And as you notice when you look at his work, and as you notice when you look at all the work, uh, people are building imagery through the process. So it's not always uh, one drawing, one shot, and then printed. Uh, in this case, it's done many layers. And I can't even tell you how many layers are in this, but I know generally he does up to 20 layers of, of drawings, colors, and layering. So in this case, he has uh, a drawing as well as digital applications, as you can see some um, imagery that's been digitally manipulated alongside something that's been hand drawn. And as we move along, this is uh, Michael Barnes. Uh, this print is a lithograph done on uh, limestone. So this happens to be on the photo plate method, and this happens to be on a, a lithographic stone. Once again, many layers of drawings that compose and layer to kind of complete this image. So they, all three of these encompass uh, various approaches to lithography. In my case, I like to use ball grain plates, so I do hand drawing on the plate. Uh, in this case, using photographic plates, and in this case, using the, the limestone. They happen to all be etchings, uh, all on copper. So uh, they have used acid to incise the line, all printed in oil-based ink. All of this piece by Adrian Miller. Um, actually, a lot of new processes are being incorporated with fabrication methods. So this person actually has hand-drawn elements in the bottom, as you see, in your print. Uh, using the traditional etching method. And then also these areas here you see have been uh, digitally uh, engraved into the plate. As we go down to these next four, uh, these happen to be prints from our collection of visiting artists as a visited Metropolitan State University and work with the students. Uh, so these are all relief prints. This one by Karen Cook. Many layers of color, uh, although she combines uh, a lot of what would be called a blend roll and applications of color within one run. So, and she also uses a lot of stencil work uh, as she's applying uh, the ink onto the block. So it's all wood carving in this case. Uh, this image by Tom Huck, uh, all done, I believe it could be, I'm not, to be honest, I wasn't here, but I believe it was either a linoleum or wood, uh, wood carving. Uh, generally he works in black and white, generally much larger than this. Um, but you can see uh, how he's applied a really dense, intricate narrative in his piece. Uh, this is our actually most recent visiting artist, Humberto Seans, and uh, he actually combined, in this case, he combined uh, a woodcut and silkscreen for color. So similar to the way my work is done, only in this case he did his key image in brown, as you see, carving on really woodblock. And uh, visiting artists we had last year, uh, Johanna Mueller, who is a, an alumnus of Metro as a student, and she actually uses a lot of uh, relief printers, are um, venturing into worlds of printing and carving onto plastics. So in this case, uh, she carved into polystyrene to make this image, as opposed to wood or linoleum. So, um, and then we have one run where she's just done one roll, but in a blend. Finally, we have silk screen, or screen print, I should say. Um, and you'll see various applications from these artists as well. Matthew Hobson Walker, you can see the, the various applications where he's uh, combining in the background a digital um, pattern that he's made and done it photographically, as well as hand drawing that he's also applied onto photo emulsion through a screen. So he's layering many different colors. Every color you see 
is a different drawing or a different substrate, whether it be a stencil cut out or um, a digital image that's been printed or a hand-drawn image. Um, Spinny, the Aria Spinny, uh, this is one of her prints, um, also a combination but mostly uh, made through digital means, obviously by the halftone that you see here as well. So many of that work was done on the computer to make all the different layers of her substrates. Uh, Mark Hosford, in this case, uh, you know, every color once again you see is hand drawn. He starts hand by hand drawing and then he'll apply work into the computer and resolve or finish all the layers of drawing. So this might have about 20 different layers of printing. So uh, the end result can be quite complex and involved. Um, and then Midwest Crest, uh, which is uh, Tim Dooley and Aaron Wilson, and this is a combination of layered imagery all made through digital means as well.